welcome to this video um, right now I'm about to enter the dance nation Japan meet so I will try to like walk you around and uh, when I see something cool I will film it and say some words maybe so yeah see you in a second okay guys to be honest I'm so overwhelmed with the experience there are so many cars and every car is amazing so uh, yeah I think I'm not able to talk about all of them but uh, I recorded some the ones I like in detail and I might like comment about them afterwards in the video so you will see that but yeah it's literally literally amazing and they have everything Japanese cars German cars uh, supercars, hypercars, everything and uh, yeah I've only like covered maybe not even a fifth of the whole area and already uh, it's such an amazing show so yeah let's see what else we can spot and yeah maybe I'll get a little bit more comfortable like talking in the videos but yeah holy shit guys this car I've seen it like so many times on Instagram and the internet in general and now seeing this in person is so cool I have to say I love this style the old like uh, super silhouette I think they call it from the race cars which then the, also the the Buzuzoku and stuff like that adapted but I love it literally okay this is this is another one of these super silhouette cars from Liberty Walk and just to show you how how wide this car really is I mean you can see it the car would end like right here but it's literally this much wider you can see it two fucking huge spacers in the wheel to get it to fit properly but it looks so fucking sick I love it holy shit but the best thing for me is really the wing the wing is just i mean look at it guys we arrived at the good shit Right, this is officially one of my favorites from this show. <laughs> Very nice. Here, this is my first time seeing an actual RWB in real life. Holy shit. That's amazing. Fucking roof rack mounts. Nice. Nice. Oh shit, Itasha. I have to go there. <laughs> go to the Itasha. <laughs> okay. That is also super interesting. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know, I can't reach it, but this looks to me like the engine out of the uh, uh, fork the S, is it S30 the 240Z um, because looks like it to me but clearly this is a 180 or a Sylvia dude that's cool that's very cool. 2.8 liter, inline six, 
old engine in newer car it's that's very interesting very very interesting oh yeah we have it right here sorry <laughs> great comparison <laughs> all right oh shit that's interesting yeah you see this engine i was i was confused like where's the exhaust but but the exhaust is below the intake that's crazy i i haven't like uh, i don't know that much about these engines but that's that's very interesting very interesting design but yeah there you have it i think that's the engine or the car that the engine normally belongs in but not in the 180 or in the Sylvia. Uh, so yeah, very cool, very cool. And what the fuck? What is that? That's a little bit of stretch, just a tiny bit. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> okay, so to everyone who ever visits Japan in October, I can literally recommend i mean why shouldn't i but it's so amazing i'm gonna check out this last section in a minute but uh, i haven't seen an mrs so i'm still on a hunt for an mrs but i'd not be surprised if there ain't one so yeah still so many cool 86s and oh dude it's just so amazing literally amazing it feels like I'm in heaven right now. So cool. I mean, that's a 2JZ swap Celica. Full showroom spec. What the fuck? Crazy. Crazy. Air suspension. Wow. What? Holy shit. That's proper cool. Oh wait, I see, I see German license plates. <laughs> Look guys, it's Ryosuke Takahashi. <laughs> Crazy. That's all carbon. Everything. I mean, all the splitters and the wing nice shit I know that Supra with the Dikai wing holy shit It. Look at it. See <laughs> boy. I love this. Look, it's a tiny turbo for a tiny engine, but full on race spec. I love it. I really love it. LSD <laughs> Dude, these fenders fit the car so good so well Also, I love the livery the HKS turbo drift performance That's so cool
I love the fitment. <laughs> Holy shit. That's sick. You can make the car a whole bed. You can literally sleep in the car. What? What? Subaru Creo. That's so cool. Love it. Holy shit. I love everything about this car. The white body, the freaking tool the roof rack, the lights. That's so cool. I think I keep repeating myself, but it simply is. No, dude. All right. Now I've seen it all. Imagine this. Going to the going to the track like that. Driving a track day, sleeping on on top of your fucking race car, and then driving home again if nothing breaks. But dude, that's so cool. So fucking cool. That's cool too. But this has a roof rack, dude. <laughs> Shit. Holy shit. Nice. Oh, we gotta check out the, the Miatas. Still haven't found an MRS. Very sad, but I found cool, <laughs> cool little cars. Hachiroku, Hachiroku, no wait, that's, that, that's a Supra, that's a Supra, not a Hachiroku, no 86, but cool, cool NA Miata, with huge wheels, holy shit. Oh dude, that's cool, that's cool. I love the fitment. It's like drivable, completely drivable, or at least it looks like it. Maybe a little much stretch for, for for my liking, but I love the wheels, which have also a huge spacer in between. <laughs> and I love the fog lights. These are so cool. Nice, it's a GT GTS. So a proper 8.6. Nice. Hell yeah, ITVs. ITVs on DNA. Wow. That's amazing. Complete cleaned engine bay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, just some. Just some. Uh, R34, four-door, very cool. <laughs> GR86, very nice. The trunk looks very interesting. With a spoiler on top, very interesting. It's a Pro Box. Is it a Pro Box or is, is, is it succeed? Oh, no, I don't know. Oh, I think I missed this one. Wow, Toyota Corona. Most hated name, but <laughs> very cool car. Very clean. Tiny steering wheel. It's like this wide that's tiny but still cool and then there's this i mean is he planning to fly with this <laughs> dude nice Oh, I've shown this, I think. I love the wheels on the on the WRX. 
I've never seen it on this car or seen them on this car before, but I really love the love it. Stancy boy. Oh yeah, GTSR Skyline. Very cool. Some golfs. There are many like German brand cars like uh, VWs and Audis and also many BMWs and Mercedes. It's very cool to see that too. Like there, Audi, Audi. I'm starting to pronounce the German names in the in the English way. <laughs> I have to stop. <laughs> Supras. Oh wait. What I found pretty cool is that I've seen some cars that I've only seen online before. Like for example the A8, A80 Supra from Mochio A80 I think is his name on Instagram. He has his car here. It was so cool seeing that in person. I can put the picture in. He has like the huge wing on it. It's amazing. Now I'm going to check out what's up at the at the stage. I love the tiny wheels. Oh, the RX-7 lineup. Four RX-7s, FD, FC, FC, FC. Very cool. I love these like rally style lights of the kit. Very cool. Very, very cool. Oh shit, they, f they fired up the, the tiny shit box. I love it. I don't even know what it is. It's two stroke, looks like, I don't know, below 100 cc's. Pandem Civic is leaving. Ferrari is also ready. With only one headlight, <laughs> active. <laughs> even Ferrari's brake headlights, apparently. Or there might be some reason to why he only has one active. Oh yeah, I love this thing up there. I love the wheels, the three spokes. I really, really want to get three spokes for a car, maybe for the MRS. I was thinking about getting three, yeah, three P, oh, three spokes. Yeah, three spokes for the MRS. It looks sick. Oh yeah, this thing. I think I showed this already. Next to the Lambo. It's this freaking thing. Crazy. Reminds me of Tokyo Drift. <laughs> of the Charan from... From... Uh, oh, I forgot the, the friend. I, I don't know what he's called. But the Hulk car. It reminds me of the Hulk car. It has Anya. Anya. <laughs> oh shit, yes.
of the Civic is way louder than the Ferrari. Nice. But that Civic is crazy loud. You can't hear anything else. That's crazy. The exhaust of the R34 is literally dragging on the ground. <laughs> The roll cage. He's got the roll cage in the K car. Yes. Is it the Honda Beat? I think so. Oh, and the Formula One light brake light. Yes. It's even got the custom white body. So cool. And of course the crazy loud exhaust. Oh, it's air suspension too. <laughs> crazy. It's left hand drive, what the fuck? Yeah, it's left hand drive Civic. Crazy. Dude. I think right now everybody is leaving because the show ended, so... Yeah. Right, guys I think that sums up my journey here at the Stance Nation Japan um, I'm gonna go outside out of the area because all the cars are leaving right now so I'm gonna record some clips if I record some you will have seen them already so yeah it's an amazing experience I've never had such a big car show I mean in Germany we also have the big car shows but this right here is something else. The style of the cars is different. The cars in general are different. Obviously, they're mostly Japanese cars, but um, they're also very cool. Some German cars and yeah, the, the style is completely different and it's an amazing experience. It really is. And I can, so I can recommend to everyone who ever wants to, wants to come uh, to an event like this, just do it. Uh, there are many also foreigners here um, because Japan opened the borders, so that's very lucky that you could get here. Um, and yeah, I would say thanks for watching this video. I don't know how long it was. I've recorded way too much, so maybe I'll also divide it in like two parts or something. I don't know yet, but uh, some more recap to the Stance Nation Japan G edition. Um, it was it was literally amazing and what I've just because I noticed uh, something um, normally I still feel kind of weird like always realizing yeah I'm really in Japan and I will stay here for a long time for now I still feel like a tourist even though I am not really so uh, yeah but today I noticed it felt like home being in this big car show because just recently um, I've been to the Asia Arena I still have some clips actually from the Asia Arena um, so I haven't like uh, used all my my video material yet but um, yeah being there and being here on this car show is like this the same kind of feeling and that's pretty cool because for me it really feels like cars and car shows are just home for me so I, I really feel so it feels so amazing every time at any car show no matter where you are you will ever feel you will always feel like you're at the right place so that's pretty cool and yeah the even though it was different than like German car shows or stuff like that it was still very cool and yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Um, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!